everyone, it's Monica. Thank you so much for joining me on another plan with me. And if you have been following my channel, you know that I said I was going to be posting every Wednesday and Sunday. Wednesdays would be my weekly spread. Sundays would be my daily, uh, my daily plan with me. And I sat down and I filmed this on Wednesday. I got all the way up to the very end and then my battery died. So I went plugged in my battery and then I had to um, I went downstairs to get some more stuff done and then I broke a nail and then I didn't have time to like clip the nails because I had a hair appointment so then I went to the hair appointment when I came back home from my hair appointment I had just like dye I guess on my fingers I guess I had like went to scratch my ear or something and anyways I was a mess on Wednesday so I never got to film the very final <laughs> um, view of my weekly spread and then just I things just kept getting busier and busier because of the the following day was Thanksgiving anyways so I did not post this spread but look at how cute this kit looks so colorful. This was the first week of using Christmas kits. I'll be using them all of December. And since December starts on the first, this is definitely the first kit. So I am using this version of the kit in my daily duo. And this kit is actually in my newer format. So things that changed from my previous, um, from my previous format is one, the font. I changed it up a little bit just to get something different and I also put in a little white box here that fits the date dots because I was kind of getting annoyed of not putting them down straight so I just figured I'd give myself a little box to put the, the date um, number in there. The second page that changed was or are these boxes here that I use to cover up the calendar portion in the Daily Duo before these boxes had uh, three bows on them and I just had a, a number of requests to make them without bows so um, I figured I'm getting a lot of requests to do that so I'm just going to change the format and and not include any bows so these can be um, used anyway they're still sized to fit in that space um, to cover up the dates in the daily duo um, and then also in my in my inserts there is a box that those will fit into as well and then the other thing that changed was I now have um, 12 of these two four six eight ten twelve uh, um, washi strips where before I only had seven so now I kind of made some more of those this page um, sheet three has changed in that I got rid of the um, circle icons that used to run down the center. Again, I had a lot of people say that they didn't really use them. They weren't really um, beneficial for them. So I took them out. But what I did include are these checkbox, check, checkbox lists that fit in the to-do section of your daily duo. So, but everything else here is the same. The half hour boxes, one hour boxes, the box for the bottom, a two hour box. Sheet four and sheet five again are the same um, same to each other but what's missing is the um, circle icons and then also those time flags that I used to have up there as well but then I included those checklists sheet six is um, another big change here I used to have two separate boxes um, but I went ahead and just made one large box to fit on your in your spread in your daily duo um, it's going to be different for me in this planner because in my inserts I have a separate page for Saturday and Sunday so this box won't necessarily fit but I don't have time right now to print out another sheet for myself because I had already um, printed this kit out a while back when I first made it so I'm just going to make do. I'm going to split it so I can make use of it right now. Um, but then I did add a bunch of new scripts. Actually not they're not necessarily new scripts they're just scripts with this new font and I did include this washi banner that I weekend banner that I just think is so cute and I love it 
So that is new. And then this is the same add-on page that you can order in addition. And then this is the extra sheet that I will use because of my separate Saturday and Sunday. These boxes here are the boxes that fit in my insert because they are a shorter list than in the Daily Duo. And then some more of those boxes for the checklist. So that is new and I'm excited to use this. One other thing that's new for me this um, starting out this week is um, again, if you've been watching my plan with me, as you know that I've been really trying to tackle my house um, as far as like designating zones to clean each and every single day, focusing on a specific section of that zone to really clean. Like I'm just, I'm trying to get my house more organized and I hope it doesn't sound like my house is just a big old mess, but it, it's not. It's just, um, it's just not kept up all the time and being home for all these months, it's made me realize that um, it's time to like get it all together. Like I, I know people aren't coming over to my house, but I want my house company ready at any time of the day, night, whatever, any day of the week. So um, I'm really trying to get that in order. But I, I. I came up with a, a plan and I was sticking to it, but then I kind of fell off the tracks of it a little bit. So I'm trying to get re back, back onto it again. Well, anyways, I stumbled across a, <coughs> excuse me, a, an ad on Facebook, I guess. I don't know. I guess, you know, how your the FBI agents in your Facebook hear what you're thinking and then they somehow manage to pop up ads for you. Well, anyways, an ad came up for a planner, a home planner from the Passionate Penny Pincher. And I'm like, oh my God, this is so cool. It has like monthly checklists, daily checklists, weekly checklists, pro home projects, um, just checklist, checklist, checklist. And I'm like, I need it, I want it. But I don't want another planner because the whole idea of getting this system set up is that I have my personal, my work, I have everything in this one section are in this one planner and that's what I love. I did not want to have to order another planner but when I got onto their website they have an option for digital downloads. <coughs> Excuse me. So I purchased it and um, my idea was that I would I could print it and then I could put it in here but it prints out in a regular eight and a half by eleven. I didn't want to have to deal with sizing it down, cutting it out, I didn't know how I was going to use it. So basically, and I've only printed out a couple of pages and it's in color. I just printed it black and white just to, because I'm not going to be writing on these papers. I just wanted the information that's on these papers so that I can incorporate it into my daily plans. So if you're not familiar, I'm going to put the link to um, this uh, business in the description box below. It's worth taking a look at if you are kind of like me where you're wanting to get things organized. You just don't know how. You don't know where. You you need a routine but you don't know how to start it. Like this, I, I'm excited about this. So basically what it has is like a regular planner um, divvied up by um, months and then you have your monthly spread, you have some notes pages, you, it, it's got a lot of stuff and I'll incorporate more of it as we go along. But basically this is what a week looks like. So, <coughs> excuse me, I printed it front and back. So in a week, let me do it like this, just so you can see what it would look like and let me kind of zoom out a little bit. So for a week, you have a habit tracker basically with tasks that you, that are divvied up between like morning routine kind of stuff and then evening routine kind of stuff. And then here um, in color, it's a nice red, bold red. This is your weekly project. So it kind of breaks things down into weeks. So this, this week's weekly project would be listed right here. And then each and every single day, you have some extra little tasks to complete. So, <coughs> gosh, excuse me. What I noticed is that it, it basically has the same main tasks on the daily basis, week by week. There are a few changes, um, like on Saturdays, sometimes they, they're different on different Saturdays, but um, 
anyways, it gives you like a breakdown of what to do. And ultimately, I am assuming that as long as you're keeping up with this kind of stuff and doing these things day by day, you should have a house that you are happy with, comfortable with, if you're trying to get it all organized and put together. So what I did was, because I again, I don't want to have to have another separate planner and I don't want to have to switch different sections within the day. So what I did was I took this list of habit trackers and I made myself my own little checklist here. So I, I printed them. It's on clear paper because I'm going to use these in my bottom section. So like uh, I'll I'll put it down in the box down here and so this will be my home section and it's just kind of like my checklists. So I made these written exactly as they are written on the paper here. So again, I did not come up with these. These are straight from Passionate Penny Pincher um, from their home planner. So I want to give them credit. This is not me. I'm just kind of modifying it to, to fit my own personal style of planning and my own personal needs. So. I made these so that I can stick on that for each and every single day to just, again, just try to keep me accountable, uh, and we'll see how it goes. I might have to make some modifications to it, but, like, stuff that I don't wouldn't normally do in the morning, I would do it at, in the evening. But I'm going to try it out exactly the way it's written here, and then make note of it, and then I can make whatever changes I want. The other thing that, um, let's see, Tuesday... Oh, where'd it go? Okay, no, here. So the other thing that I noticed as I was writing down like little notes to myself was um, like on it, and also this starts on a Sunday and I don't start my week on Sunday, I started on Monday. So again, that's another reason why I had to change things up. But like here for Tuesday, it says um, take out all the trash. Well, Tuesday is our trash day. So I don't want to take out the trash on Tuesday. I want to make sure I have the trash out on Monday. So there were little changes that I made, again, based on um, how my own life works and how I, I need to make, I need a system that works for me. I don't want to work a system. I want the system to work for me. So anyways, I'm excited that I found this. If you're happening to watch this on Sunday, which is Sunday the 29th, um, I purchased this today digital and they had a cyber sale going on so I got a whole month a whole year of January for January January through December 2021 plus Q4 so really just I just needed the rest of de December for like nine dollars and again it's digital so you can print it out yourself at home they give you print release if you want to download it and then get it printed at a um, like an office supply store or something where they can print it but literally you could print this out if you don't care about the color you don't even have to do it in color do it however you want to it is colorful and it is pretty you could print it out just like this hole punch it put it into a binder and then you have your planner and I mean, for a whole year for $9, I, it's totally worth it. So, anyways, that was not sponsored. <laughs> that was just my own my own um, personal review on that. So, anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm right smack in the middle of finishing um, orders for my Black Friday sale, which is still running. It, it ends tomorrow, so if you haven't had a chance to shop, you still have some time. But I don't want to take much, much more time getting this done um, because I need to get back to printing, cutting, and packaging it up. So let's go ahead and get started with this week. Okay, so here is Monday. So, cause I'm so excited to lay these down. So I made these clear. So that way I wasn't covering up the image underneath it. I'm just hoping that it's not going to be too hard to see. Oh no, it's going to be perfect. Okay, so that's for the morning. And then this side... But, oh, I think I made it too, yeah, I made it.
it too low. Let me fix that. I meant to put it up higher. I hope this removes easily. Okay, so for those of you that have never used undo or afraid to use it, I just used a crap ton of undo on here, totally not meaning to, but um, you can see it doesn't leave any stains, it doesn't leave any anything on there, even on the flip side, everything is totally fine. It dries up fine. Um, the only thing is, you, it might, if, like, if you're not going to put a sticker on top of it, you might have a little bit of re that residue on there, so, but it works out fine. Okay, so this one I needed to put here, so that way I could put this one. That is my list. So my morning kind of routine, uh, something is happening outside. I don't know what's going on. So the morning stuff, evening stuff. So like I can already tell you right now, and I should have just done it without even having to worry. So exercise, I don't do that in the morning. <laughs> I barely do it in the evening at this point. Oh my gosh, car outside. Okay, someone is super cool, They're, and they want everybody to know. Um, so I should have just made that change already, but again, I wanted to try it the way it was and then modify it as I need to. So more than likely, that will get changed over to this list. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I definitely do all of these other things, you know, or could very well do those things in the morning. Um, and then, you know, we're just going to see how it goes. And I gave myself just a little bit of space to put a little check mark or tick mark or something on there. Okay, so that is that. What else do I have happening this day? So, um, Victoria does go, go into work this day. So let me use my, I like to use the leftover stickers from the weekly kit. I'll use... Oh my gosh, that is out of control, that noise. Um, okay, so she goes in at four. Actually, let me do, I'm gonna use, oh my God. Okay, um, she goes in at four, I'm gonna use one of these from the, from the kit, making sure that sticker is stuck. From the, ver um, from the vertical kit. So Victoria goes into work. And that's at four. And um, she is doing a promotion that day. So that's, that's her. Oh, I forgot my AM and PM. So I guess, okay, let's see. How am I going to do this? Do I still want to put AM and PM routine? Do I even have any more left? Oh, I only have a few left. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to have to figure that out because I guess it's just for my... Okay, I'm not. I'm not. We're, let's just Let's just live life, okay? Let's just try this differently. And I don't think I have any more stickers that have Victoria's name on them printed. I ran out of like everything. But I do have Boomer's name, so let me get Boomer's. Let me get my life together here. Okay. So we will take Boomer to daycare. He did not go to daycare this um, current week that I'm filming. He did not go on Monday or, no wait, he didn't go Wednesday, he didn't go Thursday or Friday. He was out for three days and that poor boy was like so sad. You can tell he was like, please take me back to my friends. Okay, so Boomer is going there. Um, I'm doing my water.
So I made myself an easier goal to achieve. So here in this one, I have a smaller bottle because I was like trying to drink 20 ounces and that just wasn't happening, especially because it's cold and I want to have like a hot beverage to get my day going. So anyways, I have like a smaller eight ounce um, bottle that I drink, that I use when I drink, take my medicine. And then when I finish that, then I can go and drink my coffee. And then I have my hydro flask here. What is it? I think this is the 20 ounce um, that I then, yeah, it's 20 ounce that I then fill up with water. And then I drink that as the day goes as well. So that's kind of how I'm doing that. So there's that. And then I've got Emma's medicine and my medicine. And then um, I'm going to have a meeting this day, but I don't know what time yet. So I don't want to put it, I don't want to schedule it yet. Um, and then, okay. So then from this list of things it says it's supposed to do. Um, also, I do want to mention that there there are some like Bible verses or Bible things in here that um, are, like it gives you readings to do. Uh, this doesn't really apply to me, so I won't. I'm not worrying about that part, but I just want to let you guys just bring it to your attention. Okay, so let me then write down. I kind of wrote it down on my little list here. Um, let me write down this list, but I'm going to start it from the bottom. And then let's see how this goes. Give me a second. Okay. So now that I've written this all done here, I'm thinking that I might want to put some of this stuff here. Or maybe I'll use this for... I'm not quite sure what I'm going to use in this space now that I don't have the three... Um, I could still use this for my Etsy stuff, but this is the uh, day Black Friday sales ends. Hmm. Okay. So just trying to figure things out, but can I just say how cute the kit is with these? Oh, I love it. So cute. Okay, so I think that's all I have happening for Monday. We'll see how this goes. Okay, now on to Tuesday. Okay, so here is Tuesday. And Tuesday, I do have a meeting at 7.30. And for this one, I'm going to actually use a, I'm going to use an hour box because it is very possible that it's going to run a little bit longer than intended, I guess, or expected. And let's see, do I have, I do have a meeting sticker that I can use from here. And let me write down 7.30. And this is the um, MAPS training. Okay. And then meeting on my pre-plan I had written down that it was time to decorate oh my god that vehicle outside has got to go um time to decorate but I did that already yesterday my um family and I decorated our tree and put out some of our Christmas decorations we changed up all of our decorations this year so I wanted to get a jump start so I can see what else I might want to order Okay, so let me go ahead and fill out my to-dos. So according to the Passionate Penny Pincher Home Planner on Tuesday, oh my God, um, we're gonna clean out the fridge, we're gonna mop, mop the hard surfaces and clean the microwave and stoop. 
stove top. Nice. Okay, stove top. Um, and actually, this is going to be a very easy day for me because the microwave and the stove top stay clean all the time. And then um, I, we just recently did our fridge, but it'll be good to clean that out again. And then mop the floors will be the, the biggest task, but that's okay. So let me go ahead and write down all those tasks. Okay, so that is what my Tuesday looks like. So far, so good. Okay, now on to, um, oh, you know what I've been forgetting to do is the laundry stuff. Okay, I'm gonna figure that out too because it does say on here like start laundry, but I have to make sure I have my, I know what laundry I'm doing. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about it. I'll get it all figured out, but I'm gonna move on to Wednesday. Okay, so here is Wednesday, and Wednesday I have a meeting in the morning, my regular, my regular meeting. So let me put that, again, I'm using an hour label. It may not take that long, but we're just gonna mark it. 7.30, whoops, my pre-plan fell. And I have another meeting sticker here. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. This is so good. And this is admin strategist. Okay. And then I don't have any other work stuff as of now. Um, I need to do my film edit upload. For my weekly. Okay. And then according to this. On Wednesday, we clean the bathroom, change the towels, restock toilet paper. So that'll be another easy day because change the towels, that means just wash the towels, I guess. I, okay, clean the bathrooms, easy restock toilet paper. I mean, I guess so. Okay, I never realized that had to be like a <laughs> written out task. Generally, it's just like, hey, bring me some toilet paper. But anyways, we'll... Now we won't have to do that because I'm going to always have plenty, plenty of stock in each of the bathrooms. Okay, give me a second to write all this down. Okay, so I guess that's what I've got going down for Wednesday. And then again, Victoria doesn't work Wednesday. Off Tuesday and Wednesday. Okay, now on to Thursday. Okay, so here is my Thursday. So only a couple of things to write down for, for Thursday. First, let me write down that Victoria works. And she goes in at three. So I'll put that here with a little hexagon. And then um, we have our work meeting after school. So let me get a, I don't think it'll be an hour, but I'm gonna use it. Put it here. Okay. Let's see, I don't think I have any more meeting stickers. I don't have, oh, I just have work. Okay, let me grab my meeting. I have one 
here somewhere. Yes. Okay. Now this will be at 2.15. This is our staff meeting. Oh my God. Okay, and then let's see. So my meeting and Victoria works, literally that's it. Let me write down my work from home. Oh, and then according to this, Thursdays, change sheets and leave okay change sheets that's easy enough so i guess that'll be my laundry that day okay so let me get my to-dos done okay so that's all i've got going down so far for thursday let's see what we've got for friday okay so for friday the checklist here says to clean off, clean electronic screens. See, that's cool. I wouldn't have thought to do this, you know, on a regular basis. But um, yeah, but <laughs> if I look at my computer screen, my laptop especially, I got so many fingerprints, it's just so dirty. Um, sort paperwork and mail, which is again another great thing to get a handle and control of take out all trash so that's again that's an easy one to do so for friday the only things that i've got let's see victoria does go into work at two. Oh, and then that's but i'm in my meetings at that time so let me do my meeting first uh, let me do a different color than that blue i'll do a green Oh my gosh, I just smeared myself. Um, let's see, they start here. Oh, went down crooked. I hate when things go crooked. Okay, and then let me get my meeting sticker. So we're going to write um, 12.15 and 115. Oh, and I think I started, what did I start with last time? Let me just check. I think it was, um, wasn't that weak. Oh, come on. I started with math, so I'll start with, um, English department this time. ELA 6 and then math 7 and then I'll write down Victoria's work. I just had that little sticker. I don't know where I left it. She goes in at 2. So I'll just put it here with another little hexagon. time with Victoria's name and then I just need to make sure I unlock the gate okay perfect let's go ahead and list out the day's to do's okay so that is Friday looking good looking good okay now on to Saturday Okay, so here's the layout for Saturday. So what I had to do was I took that full, large full box and I um, cut it down to size. So that's why it doesn't have that border there. In my future ones, I'll make sure that I print this sheet with two separate boxes so that I have that. Um, and that just brings up one quick point. So if you are using my inserts or if you're using another planner that has separate Saturdays and Sundays and so you want a separate box, 
um, all you need to do is just leave me a note in the um, notes to seller. Let's say if you really liked this kit and you really wanted it, but on sheet six you needed two separate boxes, just leave me a note in that notes to seller. You can always message me through Etsy. Um, you can leave me messages here on YouTube if you want to. Um, but I can customize it if you need it to be altered. So there's not a whole lot of changes that... Um, are easy to make but this is certainly one that could very well be made into two separate boxes if you have a you know if you if you want it that way just you just gotta let me know okay so on saturday i don't have any appointments victoria does go into work at what time does she work at two so we'll put this here there's lots of things that I feel like I'm missing. Like I didn't write down any of my mail drops. Um, doesn't mean it won't get done. I just didn't write it down. I'll just have to fill it in after the fact. Um, so at 2 p.m., Victoria goes to work. And then Saturday's list of to-dos say clean baseboards. Yuck. Okay, I'm going to have to modify that. Because how am I supposed to clean all the baseboards? I might do like... I don't know. Hmm. Well, we'll see how much we can... Maybe it's not that... <laughs> maybe it's not that big a task. It sounds like a really big task. Okay, we'll see. Um, clean baseboards, change air filter. Super important because I don't even know when the last time we changed our air, air filters. Um... Yeah, perfect. Okay, so let's write that stuff down. Um, and yeah, that's it. Let's go ahead and get this done. Okay, so that is all I've got going on for Saturday. Now we're moving on to Sunday. Okay made it to the end of the week. Okay, do not recommend using an X-Acto blade directly on your planner. Um, luckily, it did not cut through, but anyways, I risked it. Okay, Sunday, I have no, um, no plans other than Victoria works at noon. So, my, oh wait, let's see, I don't have any more of those so I'll use I'll just use one of these okay so at two I have an arrow it takes up pretty much the whole thing but that's okay at 2 p.m. Victoria works and then the routine for Sunday. Oops. Sunday is a six. Okay, we're gonna make our menu plan, grocery shop, clean out purse. Super good one. Love that. Okay, let me fill that out. And the only other thing is to film, edit, and upload my daily plan with me. Okay. Okay, so that is Sunday. It just looks so empty, um, but I know, I, I don't know, I'm kind of excited about this. Let's see how this all works out. Let me go ahead and clear up my desk so I can lay out my planner flat and you can, um, I'll do a flip through of the day by day. Okay, so again, this was the pre-plan. I'm going to make sure that I... Um, put this up on my Instagram so I can tag where I got all the you know what all the little icon stickers that I use because they're all so super cute but anyways this was the pre-plan for the week and then here we go here's Monday and Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday Friday Saturday and here is my Sunday and then I got my page already ready for um, my gratitude by my day by day the only thing I forgot to put on here was my my weekend banner, but I don't really know where to put it. Maybe I'll just put it on Saturday. Uh, maybe I'll put it right up here. Oh, 
how, I mean, it's just too cute to not use. So I'll just put it, I'll put it right here. This will work. I'm not up at six or seven on a Saturday. Yeah, that looks great. Okay, so thank you guys so much. I know this was chatty. It's definitely a lot longer than I, I'm pretty sure it's a lot longer than I anticipated it to be, but I just got too chatty. And then that stupid vehicle outside just kept messing with me. So, okay. Um, anyways, you guys have an amazing week. Have an amazing start to your December. One more, one more month of this 2020. And um, hopefully, like the powers that are holding on to 2020 go away and we get to have a nice fresh 2021 so um anyways thank you guys so very much for your support um remember the black friday sale ends tomorrow on monday the 30th if you haven't had a chance to shop you still have some time and um anyways thank you guys so much if you haven't yet already hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so you can be alerted when i upload new videos and if you like this one i hope you give it a thumbs up i'll see you guys next time thanks bye